This is the video version of the scouting report on Harry Ford written by Jake Tillinghast on our website, prospectsworldwide.com. Harry Ford is a rare blend of speed, power, defense, and athleticism. He will make any evaluator foam at the mouth and dream on the potential of a future impact player at the next level. Strong catching is hard to come by. Catching with the type of tool set Harry possesses a type of unicorn profile in today's game. Ford is a low ball hitter. He has a gap to gap approach and strong quick hands that possesses near elite bat speed. He's an impressive arrow whip through the zone and shows the ability to all fields even in plus counts will shorten up and drive the balls to right field. There are some swing and miss mostly up in the zone with velo and breaking balls with vertical break dropping down at the top of the zone. The Georgia native generates easy pull power with the ability to clear any fence. He has high hang times with a bat path built to elevate and do damage with that plus plus near elite bat speed. He has favorable spine tilt and hip separation. For his game power, he mostly shows to the pull side, but has been showing some oppo gap power in game. He keeps the weight back extremely well during the leg kick and it explodes through the ball. He has consistent hip separation and, and drive through his lower half. He has strong body torque while punishing balls low in the zone. He has 25 home run potential at the big league level. Ford does a good job of laying off the high fastball early in counts. He will chase a bit above the zone behind in counts and hunts balls on the inner half to do damage with, with that pull side power. Ford will lay off the outer edge and wait for his pitch until later in the count before opening up his zone. At least in some case, but generally he doesn't get cheated at late. He will work a strong amount of walks at the next level and project for a 10-12% walk rate. He spoils tough pitches on the outer half with two strikes. Ford is extremely athletic behind the dish with quick twitch, cat-like reflexes, and quick to pounce on the ball on blocks. There is flexibility in the hips and agility side to side. He makes some plays most catchers can't due to the lack of athleticism. There is little glove movement but he looks stiff at times and sticks the glove on framing to the black. He has a traditional setup but is a bit wider in this squad with runners on. He has a 1.93 second pop time in game consistently and has caught a majority of the top arms in the country and handled them with ease, including some high 90s hurlers with iffy command. The athletic catcher is thrown up to 85 miles per hour from the squad and drills. He's aggressive throwing behind runners and it has a firm accurate throws to second and third base in game. He is strong mechanically. His 60 has been clocked up to 6.5 seconds with a 10 yard split of 1.5 seconds to 4.15 seconds. Ford is stolen second base with a 3.53 second time with aggressiveness on the base pass. He will take the extra bases and his head stays very still with proportional strides to his body size. He has some stolen base potential. For his physical description, there is not a ton of physical development left here. He is quick twitch and extremely athletic with a compact body and strong arms and thick legs. He's built like a catcher but moves like a center fielder with a similar body type to Dalton Varsho, who is another athletic catcher. The batting stance is an open stance with low hands and a hanging leg kick that has gotten a bit wider and lower in recent events. The timing syncs up extremely well with his hands throughout the zone. For his strengths, he shows power potential that has been very loud throughout the summer and is a low ball hitter. He is very balanced at the plate with a gap to gap approach with above average pull side power that can find the seats with ease with his near elite bat speed. He has a patient approach at the plate and will work walks and see a lot of pitches. He picks the ball up out of uh, left handed pitchers very well. Breaking balls he can track very easily and speed plays on the base pass. Athleticism like this at the catcher position is tough to find. He's got excellent mobility and blocks tough balls. Ford can control the running game and handle a pitching staff. For his misses, the Georgia native will allow some balls to hit off the glove and skip away from him, mostly from stiff receiving actions behind the plate that he should iron out with more reps. Ford is susceptible to the high fastball and empower right-handed breaking balls. His timing can get messed up with the breakers at times. With a bit higher hand setup, he will have a better chance of consistently catching the high fastball and not need to cheat as much, but until pitchers prove they can continuously beat him up there, he shouldn't make a change just yet. Ford offers a rare combination of speed, power, defensibility, and overall athleticism at the catcher position not many at any level can match. Plus defense behind the plate comes with the ability to navigate lineups and help his pitchers through starts without their best stuff. As an offensive projection of a 250, 330, 475, 807 slash line with 25 home runs and 30 plus doubles while adding 7-12 stolen bases on the base pass. Ford will be a catcher at the next level, but shows the athleticism, speed, arm, and overall package to see playing time in the outfield and third base if needed. He has the potential to be a back of the first round type pick.
His best MLB comp would be JT Real Muto of the Philadelphia Phillies or the Detroit Tigers minor leaguer Dylan Dingler. He is 21-21 draft eligible. Again, to read the report written by Jake Tillinghast on Harry Ford, please visit our website www.prospectsworldwide.com. I'm Austin Farmer, and thanks for watching the video version of the Scanner Report on Harry Ford.